camper van that has the best bathroom I've ever seen in a Class B RV. I'm Howdy, my name is Scott, welcome to my YouTube channel. When's the last time you saw a dry bath in a Class B RV? This is the bathroom. Hand towel ring, what? It's a shower. It's a shower separate from the toilet. Today I'm going to show you a camper van that has the best bathroom I've ever seen in a Class B RV. But to give us some perspective, I'm going to show you mine so you understand how different this is that you're going to see. And if we're meeting for the first time, howdy. My name is Scott. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Go Small, Live Large. Here we promote a Class B ownership and ways to travel in your van, give you van tours, show you van products and give you van tips. I'm just starting my sixth year of living full time in my Winnebago Travato 59 GL. Let me show you my bathroom. It's called a wet bath, meaning that the toilet, the shower, and the sink are all in the same room. My van is a 21 foot ProMaster. So Winnebago has built this out to be a uh, tiny motorhome, full fe fully featured. This is the bathroom, separate door. This has a traditional wet flush toilet. It goes into a black waste tank down underneath the chassis floor. Sink, and then a shower all in the same room. The rig I'm gonna show you has a dry bath, which means there's a separate room and door for the shower and for the toilet sink area. Wait. When's the last time you saw a dry bath in a Class B RV? Yeah, it's been a long time. And the last time I saw one, it was not a great execution. What I wanna show you this is a product by Coach House on the largest Sprinter Mercedes. And if you've been waiting for a van that has a separate bath, or a separate toilet and shower, you don't want to miss a single minute of this. Let me spin this. Beautiful, I would say marine grade quality. This is the bathroom. Toilet, wet flush, TP holder, residential style quality, storage, storage, hand towel ring, what? Look at this sink. This thing is a masterpiece. Stainless steel, Corian. This is just a piece of artwork. Uh, and uh, you got a little bit, of, so if you're shaving or putting on your makeup, you got a little bit there. Um, but this is what you got to see for sure. Excuse me. How about a full length mirror? When's the last time you saw that? Oh, in a Westphalia. Oh, yeah. Look at this. What do you think this is? I'll give you a peek. It's a shower. It's a shower separate from the toilet. And it's waterproof. No shower curtain necessary. Plastic diffused door, so privacy. This is just for you, Ed. Looks like I'm not the first one. Uh, yeah, it's super doable. It's tight, but it's certainly doable. I'd say better than most bathrooms showers for sure certainly um they have a toilet in the same room you got plenty of space to do a real shower in a b van so a real bathroom in a class b i don't think i've seen this ever and but wait there's still more wardrobe and yet more storage well done coach house here's a little bit of curtain for privacy for the doors when they're closed. Anything out here? Oh yeah, a little bit of uh, storage. Um, spongy, nutty things. Screen door. So if you want some ventilation here, there's your batteries. I don't know about the, the electrical setup. We'll have to put that on later. Um, clearly got lithium though. Spongy, stringy things. Just a stunning bathroom though. I am super, super impressed. Yeah, that is just, I am in shock and awe. This is just so beautiful. So again, this is just, so it's open up here. Yeah, if you're into the twin bed thing and you really don't want a wet bath, which is the shower and the toilet in the same room, this has got to be on your list. Let's see what we can find out for the pricing. I am super liking that. So this is, again, Coach House are built in Florida. Sold at Grisani. Uh, this is an MSRP of 227 Nobody pays MSRP, just FYI. There's a little bit of an upgrade for the, uh, for the uh, textured flooring and the screen doors. Uh, again, on the big Mercedes, the TV outside is kind of cool. This is the V4 
for Arriva. 24, with 24 feet in length, TB, twin bed. Pretty standard stuff out here, got an awning. This is where all the systems live. I'm gonna poke my head into the other color scheme so you can see it. I just, what impresses me so much is they've actually used these extra couple feet to put a real bathroom in. Everybody else puts in more cabinets. Let's take a peek. This is the same model, different color scheme. Oof, I really like the other one better. What do you think? This is really yellow. The same idea, right? Ooh, I really like the other one. Let me know what you think. Arriva. Yeah, I really like the other color scheme. What do you think? All right, let me go back over here. Well, I love it except the twin beds. I'd be buying this probably because you got separate living spaces, right? You can have tables set up all the time, right? Oh. And that bathroom, God, you know, I'm a big bathroom guy. It's so beautiful. So this is kind of some of the features and options. This is this one here. So yeah, it's pretty, it's pretty loaded. There's only a few options. The bug screens, weirdly. What do you think? Yeah. Coach House, thanks for doing something different. So it has a TV on the outside, which is pretty cool. Easy in, handle here, which is really unusual. Normally it's in here, so this is really smart. Uh, bug screen, which is cool. Bug screen here, really cool. Look at this front lounge area. This is fantastic. The build quality is, I would say, A+. A plus. Uh, this is a, a, a systems closet, but uh, this folds down, so you have a big work surface here, which is just stunning. Again, build quality is pleasure way plus, maybe? I don't know. Uh, a little bit of storage. The best is in the back. Yeah, you don't want to miss that. Uh, just a beautiful color scheme. Radial uh, cabinets here, so it has a rounded corner, beveled edge. Some more system controls here. I'm going to show you the price on the, when we get outside. Sink, I would say appropriately sized. So many sinks in these vans are just too big for the actual space. Nice faucet, pull out, pretty groovy. Get that to fit. Propane on board. We saw the Truma, so that usually indicates propane on board. It's the same cooktop I have. Storage down below, cabinet. You can see that, nice. And then cabinet. Oh, drawer, really. Again, really well done. Just love the color scheme. Now, I will say this is a, a marine grade woven uh, vinyl floor. And because it had about a million people through here, it is showing some dirt. But I think if you're personally camping in it, you're not going to have this problem. Rounding out the galley, we have a convection microwave, which is super nice. This is the Nova Cool refrigerator. Humongous. Humongous. And the freezer down here is, you guessed it, humongous. I mean, it's really, really big. And it's just so nice to have the fridge off the floor. Microwave at an easy standing, unless you're on the shorter side. Really nicely uh, well placed. Again, if you're looking at the Grand Canyon or the Everglades, something like that, maybe you're neighbor's lawn because you're boondocking in their garage or their driveway this would be your view again this slides out like this spring loaded uh, looking back here's a really smart move here a counter extension not super big but has to clear the cushion here and again just really smart use of it just a few extra inches so if you're using the sink you're using the cooktop this is what you have to work with really smart good job coach house here's their systems up here we're going to put the description uh, and information uh, down below. This is doing YouTube Live, so it's hard to do that kind of on the fly. Storage, beautiful. Storage. Storage. You guessed it, more storage. It's just a beautiful color scheme. And a little bit more control panels right here. So these are twin beds. Uh, Let's see if they come together to make a huge bed. No, nope, it looks like they are actually, so twin beds is what you get. You can move these cushions around at night, but they are certainly on the long side. Let's close all the cabinetry.
give me a thumb up if you are having a good time with these YouTube lives from the Florida RV Super Show. I'm actually departing the show shortly after this. Huge windows. Um, these do not open. That one doesn't anyway. This one does. Right there, you see that? Yeah, oh yeah. So a little cross ventilation, let's check. Yep, cross ventilation, this window doesn't cut, but it has got privacy shades. So it doesn't need a bug shade for that one, but it's got the privacy shade. Love the execution of the balancing. This is actually really done. Beautiful hardware, reading lights, brushed nickel, a little bit of a shelf for glasses, water at night. Air conditioner, ducted air conditioning, which is super unusual. Oops, I just ran into the TV. There it is. Sticking down the aisle a little bit. Uh, I was walking backwards, my fault. Is that on a bracket? Yeah, so you can kind of move this into the middle and watch TV. Uh, I'm looking for a sound. I'm not seeing it. Oh, there's a speaker there in the bathroom. That's interesting. Um, but just again, really nicely done. Ducted, that's super unusual in the van. Uh, brushed aluminum or nickel up here. Fan up here. This is on the Mercedes Sprinter. Again, the largest, 3,700, I think it is. The extended. Uh, check out the generator clearance. You can find out down here. Uh, it's pretty typical. I'd say about seven inches. See it right there. So maybe they have a little bit of a hybrid. So you have a generator to produce enough electricity to run the uh, AC. But the, we did see a Battleborn back there, right? So if you want to run on DC mode, we're seeing that hybrid model in more vans, including Coachman. This thing is really beautiful. All right, until we see you soon, we'd like to say peace be with you. Journey on, and we'll see you soon.